Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the event ID 18 error that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And the error message reads that the secure socket tunneling protocol service either cannot read the SHA-256 certificate hash from the registry or the data is invalid. So this error may typically occur on a Windows or Windows Server machine. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on either your computer or an external hard drive, which is probably recommended. Just somewhere that you can retrieve it. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. You want to start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing for the System folder now. Same thing for Current Control Set. Double click on that. Same thing for Services. Double click on that one as well. And now you want to go down to the SSTPSVC folder. So you're going to scroll down to the S section here. Again, it's the SSTP. We're getting close. You can also type in as well. You can start typing in once you see the folder on my screen, and then you can search for it that way. Okay, so it's right here. And if you want to pause the video, you can take note of our file path. It's up at the top of the window here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select binary value. You want to name this value capital SHA. So just delete the new value in here. Type in SHA256 certificate hash. Exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, SHA. Those three letters should be capitalized, followed by a 256. Then it should say certificate hash. First letter of each one of these words should be capitalized. The C in certificate and the H in hash. And hit enter. And I will have this zoomed in as well on the screen so you guys really should be able to see it pretty clearly here. And you want to double click on this once you've created it. Type the number 32, just 32 as you see it on my screen. And then you want to select OK. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And we're going to restart our computer. And there you go, guys. Now, once you have restarted your computer, attempt to reconnect to the VPN server for the clients. And hopefully, that should have been able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.